In the previous videos, we have looked at what normalized floating point means and how to convert from binary normalized floating point to deanery. It is recommended to watch those before this one. There are once again four types of numbers to convert, numbers 1 and above, negative 1 and below, between 0 and 1, and between 0 and negative 1. To convert numbers 1 and above, we first convert to binary the standard way, using 2's complement. We now have to normalize the result. We know that the binary point must be placed in the second position, behind the most significant bit, so we move it four places to the left. Finally, we create the exponent by converting 4 into binary. At this point, we are almost done, but before joining the numbers together, we have to indicate the bit lengths of the mantissa and the exponent, so later on, we can convert back. To convert numbers negative 1 and below, we follow the same process. We convert the number using 2's complement, the standard way. We now normalize by moving the binary point behind the most significant bit. And finally, convert the exponent. We can now declare the bit lengths and combine them into a single number. To convert numbers between 0 and 1, we start with the same process again. We convert to binary as normal. Like before, we normalize the number by moving the binary point behind the most significant bit. In case of a positive number, the most significant bit is the first zero in front of the first one. Because the floating point was moved to the right, the exponent is negative. We convert it to binary. Indicate the bit lengths and combine the numbers. Lastly, to convert numbers between 0 and negative 1, we start like before, converting into binary the usual way. We then normalize the number by moving the binary point behind the most significant bit. In case of a negative number, the most significant bit is the first one in front of the first 0. We can also say that the most significant bit is the last one of the first series of bits. Because the floating point was moved to the right, the exponent is negative we convert it to binary. Indicate the bit lengths and combine the numbers. It is possible that the bit lengths are predetermined for us and we have to ensure that's how long the two halves are. In that case, we have to pad out the numbers. We pad the mantissa by adding zeros to the end and we pad the exponent by adding more of the leading bit to the front. This is because the mantissa is a fraction and adding zeros at the end doesn't change its value while the exponent is an integer, where adding more of the leading digit to the front is what keeps the original value. If you would like to see how to convert any number between binary and deanery or play conversion games, visit BitBinary by clicking the link below.